Hello everyone, Mr. Happy here, and welcome to my guide to The Vault, a level 57 dungeon in Heavensward. This dungeon will be unlocked via the main story around level 57, and drops item level 142 gear. This dungeon consists of three bosses, so if you'd like to skip to a specific boss, be sure to use the annotations in the top left hand of the video. For the first bit of trash, it's basically just a bunch of mobs attacking the hell out of you. A group will charge you as soon as you attempt to enter the first room, more will attack you in the next hallway, and a deacon will shoot AoEs at you in the third hallway, so just run up to him and tank all the mobs. After a few treasure coffers and a fourth trash pull, you'll be at the first boss, Sir Adelphal Brightblade. At the start of the fight, Adelpho will be accompanied by three weak adds that you should kill off first. Adelpho himself will pretty much just attack and use an AoE until you drop him to 20%. At this point, he will knock everyone away and transform into his true form. In this phase, he hits much harder, has a conal attack on the tank, and a couple of new abilities. The first big ability you will see is Holy Shield Bash. This attack marks a target, Shield bashes towards them after a few seconds, then performs a tier 1 limit break on them for high damage. This can be mitigated or healed up after, just make sure that the target is topped off before they get hit by the strikes. Cover from Paladins can actually take the damage from the limit break here as well, so if you're a Paladin, doesn't hurt to try. His other big attack occurs when he dashes across the room leaving light orbs behind. When he does this, the orbs will explode shortly after, dealing damage and placing a bleed on anyone hit, so do your best to stay away from them. They'll explode in the order that they spawn, so one at a time for all of his dashes. At the end of his dashes, he will mark a player and land on them, dealing minor damage to them and anyone nearby. None of this is too threatening, so just avoid the orbs, deal with Holy Shield Bash, and heal up after Holiest of Holies, which is the room-wide AoE that he does during the fight, and it'll be pretty easy. The second set of trash has more vault enemies and a deacon, which can be handled the same way as before. When you get to the lift, watch out for the two adds that come out. They can use a powerful AoE on the party called Black Nebula, so stun this when you see it casting to reduce oncoming damage. You'll eventually encounter two knights that have some AoEs to avoid as well, but nothing special. Beat the knights and you're at the second boss, Sir Grinnell. Grinnell is similar to Adelphal in that he will wait till he is at low HP to show you his true form, with very easy to avoid attacks prior to that. Once Grinnell transforms, he will deal significantly more damage to the tank with his Conal attack, so be prepared. He also occasionally does a huge slash AoE on the ground that you just need to avoid. His biggest mechanic is Hyperdimensional Slash, which shoots a line AoE at a random party member and summons a Void Gate at the wall behind them. Standing near a Void Gate will cause you to take high damage and gain stacks of vulnerability up, so stay away from them as best as possible. He will usually follow this up with knocking everyone back to the wall using Faith Unmoving, so ensure there are no portals to your back whenever he does this. His final attack is Dimensional Rip, which summons a black hole at its target location. If you step in the black hole, it deals high damage and slows your movement speed. It's really all about avoiding the portals and the black holes for the duration of the fight while trying to deal damage. If you're nervous about positioning, tanks can eat those black holes just to get rid of them. Just be ready for the extra damage that they're going to be taking. Finish them off and move on to the final bit of trash. The last stretch of the dungeon features all mobs you've encountered already before, so deal with them the same way. The only real difference is the Vault Priest, which when falling to low health, will attempt to sacrifice themselves to summon four Cathedral Gargoyles. Just kill them off and move on to the final boss, Sir Cherbert. Sir Cherbert has a lot of familiar mechanics to you if you've done all the Aroma Born content beforehand. He shoots fire at his current target and summons Heaven's Flames, large AoEs under all party members. When the boss casts Holy Chain, he will chain two party members together and deal damage to them in a small AoE every couple of seconds that they are chained. To break the chain, just keep running away from each other until it snaps. He can also summon knights to charge down the arena, and they will always come from the north end, running south. Making contact with a knight deals moderate damage and inflicts a very powerful attack speed slow, so just dodge them. And don't try to cut corners, because their hitboxes are bigger than they seem. At about 60%, Cherubert will disappear before returning with the assistance of three knights. These knights occasionally fire line AoEs at the party while they deal with the other adds, Holy Flames. Your goal is to kill all of the Holy Flames before Cherubert unleashes his ultimate attack, very similar to Ifrit in the Bowl of Embers. Once that's done, Cherubert's final phase just involves him doing all of the mechanics he did before in very quick succession. He will often do a Heaven's Flame, summon knights for you to dodge, Heaven's Flame again, and then while the second set of knights are charging, he'll put Holy Chain on two different people. 
it's best to break the chains and dodge the AoEs moving north and south in order to avoid the knights more easily, so get in those spaces between the knight spawns. Just keep breaking chains and dodging attacks and you'll get the win in no time. Thanks for watching my guide to the vault. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share for more guides on Final Fantasy XIV. Until next time, take care.